session we will try to understand container d specific debugging cli tool which is called ctr so as we know kubernetes 1.24 onwards kubernetes removed docker shim and introduced a cri which is container runtime interface and which is currently the most popular is container d which is being used so what is container d container d is industry standard container runtime so if you go to the google and just search for a container d.io and it's clearly mentioned that it's an industry standard container runtime with an emphasis on simplicity robustness and portability so this container d is a very simplified robust and portable also is extendable yes you can extend this container d runtime how we will see in the further slides and well architected and optimized runtime as simple as that and container d from where it's it's originated from the docker how so in the earlier days before 1.24 in fact before kubelet is was using a docker shim and that docker shim is talking to docker daemon docker daemon is talking to container d container d talking to run c and this run c is ultimately creating containers so this container d was a part of a docker on the kubernetes 1.24 onwards kubernetes introduced a cri plugin which is container runtime interface plugin that plugin is loosely coupled to support various container runtimes such as container d which is the most popular cryo mirantis singularity pouch etc there are many more and these container runtimes actually exposes a shim api this shim api is capable to handle the container runtimes those are following oci open industry standards which is run c which is this the this one and also there are a sandboxing containers like a kata gvisor firecracker nabla etc and there are many more so this is the in short about and what happened to this orange color so they removed completely from the 1.24 this is the background and i have created a video in my uh, on the container runtime interface please go and watch if you wanted to understand more deeper now container d so if you go to the container d website right if you just scroll down there will be a container d architecture and there will be a documentation everything is available right so and so this was a docker case when docker was a part of a kubernetes so where kubelets is was talking to docker shim docker shim is talking to docker daemon docker daemon to container d container d is actually creating a containers then container d 1.0 was introduced and where cri compatible container d was included along with the kubelet so that it will use internally container d and various containers are getting created but later the architecture was improved in a such a way here only container d is using what else what about if i wanted to use other container runtimes so that's what the 1.1 onwards the architectural improvement was made where kubelet is talking to cri plugin one of the plugin which is container d is one of the plugin this will talking to container if you use a cri o yes singularity and whatever the other one so it's completely made loosely coupled as a cri plugins these images are taken from this kubernetes blog now container d architecture so if you go to the container d.io and just scroll down there is a container d architecture so let's try to understand that so here the system level arm based system intel based system windows or linux or any other systems whereas the supported ecosystems like gcp docker ibm cloud azure alibaba aws rancher and etc etc there are many more platforms are supported this particular container d number 2 clients in order to deal with the container d kubelet one is a kubectl right when you install a kubernetes then kubelet will come and this kubelet will be able to talk to this container d also there is a pouch and there is a go container client are available to interact with this also there is another tool called build kit you can just google it which is also developed in the golang also there is a ctr so today's topic is this ctr so we will see that 
right this is also one of the client to, to deal with this container now this is a container d completely architecture this container d architecture contains the api core layer and backend layer so first one api layer is exposing three different component one is a cri component container d component prometheus so cri component is a container d client which uses a gRPC whereas a container d will expose as a service handlers and prometheus basically this metrics are exposed directly from the the container system underlying so like this container how much memory is taking etc and the second is a core layer basically this core layer has a various uh, services like a container diff images lease namespaces snapshot tasks so we will see each and everything and the further upcoming lectures and also this core layer provides a metadata what is metadata images container containers and leases content and namespaces snapshots etc these are the comes under the metadata these all are the namespace right in the same like in the given namespace but it will use us internally linux namespace and the backend so if you wanted to store a container d specific any content then also it will expose as a backend content store snapshot and it exposes a one runtime at the backend level where before creating actual container you can create your own container runtime like a sandboxing you can use a run c you can see run scs which is by microsoft kata firecrocker gvisor gvisor by google shim etc so these are the as a completely at the low level you can customize the container with respect to security this is all about the background now we will see here all the api core back and these all are called as a plugins how its plugins we will see in the further slides so and if you dig more into this particular diagram and go to the this image was taken from this github page and go to the uh, say right container d so this is a container d specific github page yeah this is the what the architecture which is taken from this architecture.md right page so and if you look at closely this container d has grpc calls right uh, at the api level and the second it exposes a matrix and the major things are storage metadata and run times these three are the major and storage point of view content snapshot diff metadata point of view images containers these are the namespaced you can pull the images same hello world image in the x namespace and y namespace and as well as the tasks event and exposes this is the core we will see everything in the upcoming slides now in the previous session we have learned about the cri ctl right we have seen that whenever you are dealing with the kubernetes this particular tool will be used for the debugging but now in this session we are going to learn the ctr so you may be wondering what is the difference between this cri and ctr so let's try to understand that now cri ctl which is script tl or cri ctl whatever right C and other one is a CTR, which is container. So CRI CTL is completely CRI compatible. If I say CRI compatible, means which is only talk to Kubelet CRI, Kubelet in the sense Kubernetes. So this CRI CTL will be used when you are dealing with the Kubernetes only. That's what the whatever you do the operations with the CRI CTL which is completely relevant to, to Kubernetes and which can be used for the CLI and validation point of view also CRI CTL what you will do inspect and debug a container runtime so if you go back here right inspect inspect image inspect P so something like that you can inspect you can start config etc right so right and also you can debug the applications on a particular kubernetes nodes so this is all we learned in the previous session but this ctr what is what is exactly it means so this ctr is used to interact with the container d so still confusing don't worry so this ctr is to deal with the container d means 
you wanted to talk to only container d daemon means let's say you have a one linux server it's not a kubernetes node nothing simple linux server where you installed a container d runtime and you wanted to play with it how you will do you will use a ctr because docker is not going to work because docker is completely no more in the picture right so this ctr is wanted to talk to container d directly and where is cri ctl when you are dealing with the kubernetes as simple as that and ctr with the kubernetes is completely irrelevant so there is no relation with the whatever the ctr output and what's kubernetes right now what is this ctr is used for it's purely for the debugging and administrative purpose but it's better for the developers who is really implementing the containers internal container components so this is a good for the developer we will see in the further demo session so and the last note down ctr is only to deal with the container d cri ctl when you are dealing with the kubelets which is kubernetes now the demo time so for this demo point of view i have provisioned a two node kubernetes cluster one master node and one worker node which is running on a 1.24.3 and i am using a container d 1.59 operating system and by the way i have provisioned this particular kubernetes cluster by using this github repo right uh, and which uses internally vagrant all uh, right uh, so there is a vagrant file right uh, and all the steps are here uh, how to provision etc right and i am using ubuntu 22.4 lts right so in order to proceed further so i am just taking a reference of this container d architecture and container d and further major component architecture right so now uh, so i have to go inside the one of the worker node because it's using a container d so i am just ssh inside the node 0 1 which is worker node right this is the what the worker node so uh, what i will do is i will just log in as a root user and back to my home page right right so now the first so we know cri ctl hyphen v this is a cri ctl right now cri so in this particular session so we are going to see the ctr so if i specify the ctr right and hyphen v right so it's saying cri ctl is referring to 1.24.2 which is same as a kubernetes version which is matching with the kubernetes version maybe kubernetes version is 1.24.3 but whereas the cri ctl utility is matching but whereas ctr is matching with the exact container runtime so this particular version will reveal you about the ctr tool this ctr tool is purely telling about the container d now so let's clear that now ctr so when i type the ctr right so which is a container and container d cli that's what the uh, it's main and version is 1.24 uh, 1.5.9 right so and it's saying that ctr is unsupported and debugging an administrative tool for interacting with the container d daemon yes that's correct because it's unsupported unsupported with what in the kubernetes and the kubans and etc are not guaranteed to backward compatible so it's still they have to do the some improvements right so these are the commands are etc are available so now so this is the first very basic level and these are the all the commands uh, which we are going to use today right now so if you look at the container d point of view where is the container d configuration is located so container d configuration is located on at c container d say there is a config.taml right so this is a container d configuration right this is a container d so it's a very big configuration file right so and it's very hard to read in this particular right so what i will do is i have copied the, this particular config.toml file in my vs code so that we can see in a colorful nature so in the container d configuration point of view one is the specified as a root and state root is basically stores a persistent data which will store permanently in this particular directory whereas a state is nothing but a temporary data which is socket speeds because if you create a pod if you create a container it will internally create a pid 
in the linux and mount points when you delete the container all the mount point will go away see this all the temporary data will be stored here and as well as the permanent data which is contained its metadata plugins etc is stored here as simple as that and which has a, some it is a toml file so i am not much familiar about the toml but the thing is this is a debugging configuration grpc and the one more important is if you look at here there are a plugins there are a number of plugins are used right so if you, you can expand i minimize so this is a one plugin this is a one plugin and this is a one plugin and this is a one plugin so something like that if you just keep expanding then you will be able to see the various plugins right so task plugin different services of so all the all these plugin so why i am we are discussing this and stream processors are there and uh, last where are timeouts etc are there so right plugins so now go back to the ctr right so there is a first command is a plugins so right so now ctr plugins ls so now when i say ctr plugin ls so it's this particular all the plugins are listed right so these are the plugins are basically used in my container deconfiguration right so maybe if you don't know the command the 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 good technique is ctr just enter and you wanted to know this plugins or plugins or plugin you can use so now clear ctr plugin hyphen h ctr plugin ls ls is for list you can use a list or list so shortcut singular plural anything you can use so ctr plugin plugin ls so these are the plugin right working scheduler right uh, restart diff events images so if you look at the go back to architecture right so you can relate here content <coughs> sorry container content diff right content right content and there is a diff also is a diff service right so if you look at here service 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 these are the services and services has a service dot v1 snapshotter has a snapshotter namespace uh, names so naming right grpc calls so all these whatever you see here right content snapshot diff images all are available here as the plugins so that's the first point to remember right so now <coughs> next so and if you wanted to just wonder maybe if you wanted to see the uh, this particular uh, file and just graph for right say plugin p l u g i n s right plugin so these are the number of plugins are available so i'm just because it, this file is very big so i just searched so right now ctr the second command is the container so before going to the container so uh, so i would like to tell about uh, so container we will see after the image now content right M content what is saying is manage content so let me tell you about this content right so if you go back to the diagram here first one is the content with respect to storage so and also uh, i was telling right uh, basically where the content will be stored which is in the persistent which is this particular directory right so here ctr content right hyphen h right so these are the content so ls is default applicable for all the command so now now ctr content ls so none of the content is available but here there is a one catch so if you type ctr in the ctr also there are a namespaces means in the container d by default it will create namespaces so ctr namespace ls so this ctr is uses a default namespace and kitest.io since we are using in a kubernetes right in the kubernetes cluster we have inter, uh, installed right so all the kubernetes component right so if you go here right say kubectl sorry kubectl get pod hyphen a right so in my default namespace these are the pods and my cube system these are the my control plane related all the uh, the pods are running right so here ctr and namespace kitest.io right 
and what i am trying to look content so content ls so when i type this i have there's a bunch of contents are available so see right here so these are the content point of view digest size age and the label so content so and just go back to here this is the content and go to the toml file content is store snapshot content metadata and plugins and again go back to here which is you will see the same thing here so it's it's a matching we are not trying to match how many are there how many in the diagram but the thing is point is to understand how the container d uses the content in this particular place right and say if you wanted to dig more about the content say ctr content instead of l just put the h say if you wanted to delete any content you can delete you can edit you can push you can completely clean up you can get the data of the object as well so you can choose any of the content id right so if you look at the content ls right so this is the content id in the, in the first one right in the first column right this is a digest so you can just pass the digest and get the details of the uh, i know right so now this is the what about the content now ctr third one is the events so events are very simple so right ctr events just when i type simply ctr dot events so it's showing me the all the events along with the timestamp so what is it utc and kubernetes dot io is a namespace and what are the tasks are executing and what is the container id and its details are showing like a kubectl event but this events are not matching with the kubectl event these are the purely container d specific events so in this particular container so this is the what the events which will completely tells runtime level what exactly happening so i will just completely clear that right ctr now after the content then the snapshot so there is a snapshot so uh, i'm just going with uh, this diagram content event and then snapshot so snapshot point of view so and right snapshot snapshots so singular and plural task tasks right image images event events and only content is not a plural so i don't know why they implemented like that but yeah anyway so uh, ct oops ctr content ls so there is no content is available here right sorry snapshot snapshot ls so snapshots are not available but let's see in the uh, name and by the way this namespace if i specify the namespace as a kitas.io it's not going to work like a kubectl so this namespace must be prevent presented in the starting after the ctr so ctr kitas.io right and snapshot ls so these are the snapshots are available and what we learned about the snapshots so snapshot point of view this is the snapshot key this is the parent right so what is the snapshot if you go back to the toml file right so snapshots are also persistent data right and which will store in this particular location so these are the snapshots are basically layers so because every container has a multiple layers so these particular layers uh, information will be available here right so and then just i will clear that right and by the way uh, snapshot point of view say if you wanted to know kia it is dot io and then instead of just to do the h so ctr snapshot list only the supported value is a list only ctr snapshot list right so and if you don't know the command and etc then just simply type h so it will show you so uh, snapshot point of view snapshot commits app not diff info and you can get the information about the snapshot so info command right so snapshot hyphen info and just put the hyphen h so snapshot info right so that it will give you the snapshot information and we need to pass the key as well right so ctr let's go back here right these are the snapshot i just i'll take a snapshot uh, this is the key right so now ctr snapshot info and this key 
right so this is the my snapshot key so it is a kind is committed snapshot and it's a parent it's a label and when it's created when it's updated so maybe if you wanted to dig the completely a snapshot of a container this particular command is used so uh, no need to go much deeper here now ctr right events images so as we know simple the images right uh, ctr right ctr images uh, and see and by the way ctr point of view if you search for images images image i also you can use that's a shortcut right ctr i right and i it's not going to work right ctr i ls it's not showing anything why because i am searching in a default namespace so if i wanted to check in the my actual kubernetes namespace this is the what the uh, these are the my images images are what calico right uh, and and one more thing is this is basically the large uh, number of details which is completely um, showing in a order of fashion this is a one row right one is a docker calico.cli and cni and cube controller no there are many more all or whatever i see in this particular uh, the contain images all are showing here like a docker images same like that and there is another feature as well so if whenever you are searching for the ls and just if you specify hyphen q it will show only the names only hyphen q and if you don't know how to do that just simply type h automatically it will show quite q means the print only the image ref so i don't want to see all the details and all which i don't understand just simply do that sorry which is hyphen q right which is showing all the <coughs> images so and the container d works in a different way right so and whenever you pull the http uh, maybe grafana container grafana image right grafana image is the latest version it has and as well as it's a digest specific information also it has so it will maintain a multiple images uh, that's how the the container will work right now so uh, now let's clear ctr right so images point of view right so say let's say uh, if i wanted to i will go back to my just docker hub and nginx has been you know, everybody uses nginx right nginx point of view there are multiple versions so let's i will just try to use 1.23.1 so i can pull the uh, right here there is no nginx image here right this is dif different this is a different it's a different right if you wanted to see cri ctl images so if i search for a cri ctl images there is no nginx container right now i will pull using a ctr image pull i wanted to pull the image of 1.23.1 of nginx right so nginx colon 1.23.1 23.1 so i can pull the latest also but i just wanted to pull the specific version this 1.23.1 so let's try to open in a new window right here this will uh, show me this award right nginx 1.23.1 say when i type here it's failed to resolve this nginx 1.23.1 because this container d do not understand the url of docker hub because it's don't know that it's it should go to the docker so if you wanted to really configure this particular uh, registry then go to the this uh, plugins there is a, a called a registry uh, r e g i s t r y c this is a registry under that registry you have to specify the multiple registry mirrors so this is again a separate topic where you have to add your own configurations in the container d but the point is here if you wanted to pull really ctr image and how to pull that docker dot io right and ctr image pull docker dot io slash library l i b r a r y slash nginx 1.23.1 right so now this particular nginx image is being pulled from my docker hub right so now it's it's downloading yeah now you see <coughs> it's downloaded 
sorry yeah so now 1.23.1 one one downloaded if you look at here index sha is this manifest sha is this layer sha is this configuration sha is this and all other layers sha is here right so but here how do i match this image signing right so if you look at carefully f26 f and ends with 1261 right this is a manifest sha so this is the manifest sha f26 f and ends with the 1261 so which is about the this one right and i wanted to whatever the image i pulled i wanted to see locally whether it's available or ctr images image ls so there is a one image which is i just pull and this is the what the type and it's a digest is this and it's a label is this and all the supported and it's showing me the hyphen so and there is an option ctr image check so there is a check command so whenever you see the check command it will show the bit more detail like uh, this is the what the image this is the what the unpacked this is about the digest and 54 mb and uh, yeah its details uh, about it's complete in 7 by 7 layers and it, it will basically check about the image status and uh, all other information right so now so now i created the uh, right i pulled the image right ctr image list say i wanted to create a container right how do i create that and i wanted to see the images so i already show right ctr hyphen n k it is dot io uh, image ls these are the all my kubernetes uh, specific uh, images so these are the default one now i am creating the container so ctr container right and hyphen h if you will be able to see container yeah same docker ps the docker run right so container you can create container delete container info container list label checkpoint restore all this commands you will be able to see so now here ctr and container shortcut key is a c i can use container ctr container right and create what i wanted to create a container this is a docker image name so i can't give a name like a web uh, right so something like that and here i am creating a container so here i am giving as a web right web1 something like that there is no web1 name is used i hope here there is no web here right so now i go back here so i'll just simply the use a web so now it's i think it's created ctr container ls so now this container has been created whatever the docker image i pull right and i wanted to see the container information and you can do the all the container delete and etc now and container information i wanted to see the container information so let's clear the screen ctr container ls now ctr container info what information i want i wanted to see the information of a web container so it it's showing me ctr info web so what it's showing is it's completely showing information what is a container web and it's a label is this who maintaining is this because this maintainer information is available in the docker file that is and this image is this is the what the image and if you just go and copy this right and go here and just for my sake right so it will completely redirect to the hub.docker.com right so that's what the it and snapshot key and it's a specs oci version what is a oci version is implemented process and the good thing is it will show all the environment variables in the container and it's what is the current working directory when container runs and what are the container capabilities we simply just run just kubectl run and container but these are the all the and what are the effective uh, so if you wanted to really somebody developer is exposed a container image to you and he also don't know what are the linux permission then this is the best command to check what are the commands are permitted and limits etc and this is all advanced what are the mounts is internally using all the options and etc this is just for your information only right so ctr container ls this is what the container command and the next ctr point of view there is another command called a task basically what exactly this task so 
tasks are nothing but see ctr image ls this is the image ctr container ls this is the container but ctr task ls so there is no task run means there is a docker image there is a container but it's not running actually so unless you create a task then only it will run in the container how to prove that i will go back to ctr task ls i wanted to see the tasks in kubernetes namespace which kubernetes is provided these are the tasks are running in my kubernetes cluster this task is nothing but this what is this task id it's internally container id but what this task is saying it's a pid on which pid it's running right say uh, if i wanted to know say i'm bit curious on uh, i wanted to understand this what is this 4249 so for that ctr in namespace kitas.io since this is in a kubernetes namespace and container info of this one and then it will be a very big so i will just put the more so what exactly it means is ending with a 45c which is id is this and prometheus stack operator and which is prometheus specific image which is a pos container and pos image and then its details and its extensions and its uh, capabilities right uh, and its environment variables etc so everything it will be available here right so let's look at the some other task say if i wanted to understand some other one so i will take uh, the different one which is 26 yeah anything i can take uh, so i'll just put it here right so this is a cube state matrix again it's a pos container so you can just check something like that right now uh, and there is another command ctr task list so ctr right task ls instead of task list you can put the matrix of a specific say i wanted to check the matrix of this 3 to 6 right so i can check the matrix so what is a matrix its pid is uh, limit is this usage is this system specs right and memory and its swap limit etc all the information will be used right now go back to uh, ctr right image list which i i have pulled right ctr container ls this is the what the container i created say with this container i wanted to say ctr task list because none of the task is running in default namespace say if i wanted to run that ctr right and task and what i am going to do is is i am going to create a task right no, no sorry not start right start what i am trying to start in a detached mode which is this a web task i wanted to run right so now ctr task so it is given me the some information and then finally it run then i have to see ctr task list see my whatever this particular image is a container and it's running as a web container on this particular pid and how can check that it matrix i, I can check this matrix as well right say ctr task matrix of web so my web is these are the matrix right and another command is i can go inside and i can check right ctr task list right ctr task so i can use a shortcut as a t shortcut p a u s e pos i can i can pos then if i do that it's a post my container right then after that instead of pause i think you can resume as well you can stop as well right oh no help topic for uh, so maybe yeah so let's try to see the so pause resume resume and kill as well so what i will do is instead of pause i will do the resume then ctr task ls then mine is running then ctr task kill i wanted to kill the this guy it's killed so ctr task ls so it's a stop so kill means it will stop basically right ctr task remove then the web i wanted to remove the ctr task 
ls it's not there so yeah and ctr namespace ls default namespace ctr namespace create dev namespace i can create ctr ns ls so it's a dev namespace is created so something like that uh, you can carry on and that's it and the most important is install oci shim these are the very very advanced commands unless you know about the completely container in deeper you will be able to install and you can check and you can directly play with the shim api so this is all about the this particular topic right that's what that's completely container images leases by the way i told you the leases as well right these are the leases so you can do the and p proof and run as well you can run the container right so and likewise you can explore right and the complete the references this is architecture and these are the components you can do whatever they specify in this particular github you will be achieve with the ctr it's very very useful for the developer and yeah that's it for this particular session point of view thank you i hope this session is very very helpful and uh, you learned something new let me know what you guys think about this particular tool if you are admin or a developer or whatever thank you for listening bye bye